Today's prayer is about missions, coming from Matthew, the ninth chapter, 35 through 38. This is the New Living Translation. Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of the area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Father God, right now, I thank you just for life. I thank you for this amazing brotherhood. I thank you for the sisterhood as well, Father God. I thank you for all of your children, my brothers and sisters. God, I thank you, God, for another day at life, a new mercies that we see. Father God, as we read the scripture, God, I thank you, Father God, for just giving us the heart and a mind to not only worship you, but to serve you and to serve your people. God, I thank you, God, that we will have a burden in us to want to serve, to want to help, to want to help locally as well as globally. Father God, I thank you, God, that you've given us uh, resources, Father. You are our source. We look to you for our source, and you've given us resources, Father God. God, I thank you, God, for the work of our hands, that the work of our hands will be used to help others, Father God, through missions, through outreach. I thank you, Father God, for us having a heart, Father God, to look into different organizations that we can partner with, Father God, to be able to help others, Father God, to help them in their needs. Father, you've supplied all the things we need for our needs, Father God. And we thank you, God, that our mind and our hearts have been changed. They have been transformed in order to do the work that you have called us to do. Father God, I thank you for it now, Father God, that we will have a heart and a mind to want to, not only after worshiping you, Father, but be called to action, called to being able to serve, Father God, to serve those that are in hungry, the people that need uh, medical treatment, the people, Father God, that, that, that are, don't have a home, Father God, that we will be able to give them and share resources like the early church did in the book of Acts, that we will share that no one would have a need. Father God, we know that we're limited, but you're unlimited. And we tap into your limitlessness in order to be able to serve and help others. We thank you for the Holy Spirit guiding us in wisdom, when to do and how to do, where to do. We thank you, only you, Holy Spirit, only you know what we should be doing. We don't want to just do something that's good, but we want to do things that are great. And only you can direct us in that. And we open our hearts and our minds up so that way we can hear from you how to act, when to act, and where to act to do the things that are that we're called to do. Father God, you called us to certain people to help, and we want to be open and receptive to that. And we want to use the gifts and talents that you have given us and our resources to be able to help others. And we're doing it because we love you, Father God. And we want to see our brothers and our sisters. We want to see them healthy. You said that the, the scripture says, I would that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. And Father God, you called us to be the liaisons. You called us to be the workers, the, 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 the managers in order to be able to get stewards in order so that we can uh, help others that may not have those things so that they can prosper and be in health, even as they're so prosperous. And I thank you, God, for all that you're going to do in Jesus' name. Amen.